Welcome back. in 1892 and continues to be a significant community focus. A school has operated in the district since 1851 and continues today. Wheeler's Hotel was built in 1872 and is considered historically significant to the Shire of Nillenbrook. It has served as a hotel, store and staging post for Cobb Co coaches bound for the goldfields. In 1892, the Kangaroo Ground Fire Brigade was formed and the Kangaroo Ground Emergency Operations Centre was constructed in 1988 of mud brick. The general store is the most notable structure overlooked by the Memorial Tower which was built in 1926 on Garden Hill about 800 metres northeast. The structure modelled on a Scottish watchtower is a memorial to all those in the Eltham Shire who died in World War I. It is also used for fire spotting. Kangaroo Ground is also the Australian headquarters for Wycliffe Australia, part of the Wycliffe Global Alliance and volunteer translators work to translate the Bible. In 1967, donated land and money was raised to develop a national centre and continues today. So without further ado, let's check out Kangaroo Ground. Hey, haven't having to sharpen all your knives with that thing. That would be actually it wouldn't be much of a chore, I think it'd be a bit of fun. Now I'm not sure, but I'm thinking this must have been I could be totally wrong, so I'm gonna guess say so this was the old school that's now been converted into somewhat of a museum. And it suggests that it could be a good one. Obviously come at the wrong time. And the school itself, the new school, 
is directly behind that this building and around it would be my guess but and it wouldn't be the first time I'm wrong but I'm just surmising that Oh, she works pretty good. Great view from the church though. So you've got your post office down there. It is a little windy, but I will try to get the drone up. And the school is actually quite large. A lot of portables. So I can only assume it can accommodate quite a large number of kids. So here we have the uh, Kangaroo Ground Tennis Club. New members are welcome. Let's see what they got. So I can see at least two courts here. Oh, and there's a fair few over here to the left as well. Oh, so they've got four, four courts, that's pretty good. For a country town, I would say that was very good. So I can only assume that maybe there's a coach here and they teach the kids. Maybe have a, a lady session and a guy session. There are lights so it can be used at night and you can't beat the old barbecue. So there is a barbecue here. I'll just quickly show you the clubhouse. So there is a clubhouse as well. So this is not bad. This is a good social thing for, for the community. Plus it keeps everyone fit. Looks like they've won a fair few pendants. We're not whatever competition they're playing in. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, so hanging up there. Looks like a pretty good little kitchen and a lot of pendants they've won. So that's terrific.
So here we are at the uh, Kangaroo Ground War Memorial Tower, also known as the uh, Shire of Eltham War Memorial. And we will go up and have a look and see what the views are. And this is to commemorate both the First and Second World Wars. It's not just the tower, there's also a lot of um, ground area and they do mention other wars around this tower including the Korean, Malaya, uh, Vietnam etc. So here's your stairwell that will climb and we pretty much will go if I can get a good shot of it just right up so um Let's start walking. This is where we take our first step. So here we are at the, the highest place that we can get access to. It can go a little bit higher, but it's um, closed off to the public unless you're an authorised person who's got the key. So the view is quite spectacular here, as one can imagine. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually see the Melbourne skyline in the distance. I don't notice it. I can see another area over there, but that is not Melbourne. I don't know if you can see that in the distance just left of those taller trees in the centre of the picture not sure if that's Box Hill maybe Ringwood I haven't quite got my bearings right here but as you can see in the distance and just beyond those trees um, some lovely homesteads great views it really is a bit of a, a, a scenic spot this location and it makes sense why they probably chose it. I'll just quickly show you that you can go up a little bit further, um, but as you can see, you do need access. And it clearly states that it's um, authorised personnel, restricted area. So here we have one of the many plaques in this area. Uh, this one states it's the Kangaroo Ground Memorial Tower on the summit of that central and conspicuous landmark Garden Hill there is being erected a massive tower which will for all time remind every passerby of the part played by the men of the Shire of Eltham in the Great War. The work has been undertaken by the people of the Shire as a tribute of the love and ad admiration of those who were known and dear to us in those days of their youth and nearly manhood who went out from amongst us never to return and whose self-sacrifice has made us each and all their everlasting debtors. So that's your, the first one. And there's a few more. Um, in this parkland so it really is a, a parkland de uh, dedicated to the first and I guess second world war that I've noted unless I've missed something and there is an old little cottage just there I'll have a look at it we'll go closer I'm sort of guessing that maybe that would have been a, a restroom of sorts. Here's another plaque. Um, I won't read this one if you want to just pause it about now and uh, have a read and I'll continue on. So I'll have a quick look at that stone structure. Now I have walked around this stone structure. Uh, there's no other entry points or glass. You've got that door there, you've got that window there and nothing else around the perimeter of the building. Um, 
there is a mention on that building there that it's uh, getting maintained and it's closed for the moment and I'll surmise that that's the bathrooms or the public restrooms so here we have another plaque or information for those that come here to read and once again just press pause uh, and then we'll continue on but we're aiming to go to that thing just there that lookout so that'll be the next spot we'll stop at so here we have some sort of marker I think it's been removed um, I'm not sure I'm, I'm assuming something was just there now this is the uh, lookout point and um, it is a welcoming from the uh, Aboriginal uh, people that first settled this area and it's a place of reverence and a tower of strength it sounds terrific to me so I accept their welcome that's terrific I like it when they do that um, you've got to recognize the people who were here first uh, it does give you a brief history of the area a bit of native history which is great now I do believe this area is one of the best places to come and see kangaroos whether or not we're going to see any I'm not sure being that it's sort of midday and they're less likely to roam I would say unless there's someone somewhere nearby and just um, resting in a field as a mob of kangaroos do and we mightn't see anything because they might be under some trees having a, a siesta so yeah so this is great I love the um, how they've made the benches to sit on very good it's terrific so we also have a little bit of a uh, some information about the memorial tower and its importance to the area so there you go there So once again, um, my hat goes off to those that served in particularly the First and Second World Wars. I think, um, I think that's when we really did fight for humanity and for the uh, common man and, and their rights.
Now, directly behind the uh, War Memorial Tower, there is a, a home. It very much is abandoned, but I believe it's got something to do with this other tower that supplies a signal both for mobile TV and anything else that they need on top of this hill to send a signal to. So if you are coming to the area and you also like abandoned buildings, there's one directly um, behind this tower. I'll have a bit of a look. I won't force open any doors as we shouldn't, but it is a bit odd that this is just here. So we'll have a quick look. It is definitely abandoned. No one's looking after the gardens here. Um, that's me. How are you going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe something to do with the SEC that maybe maintain that tower. But it's got relatively modern appliances, as in, not appliances, I should correct myself, um, power points. So you could actually um, uh, occupy this. So it's got one room, relatively modern heating, electric heating. The bathroom is what the bathroom is, I guess. It's not too fancy. There's some lovely spiders there. Um, I would say this is probably a, a staff cottage, maybe. So you've got one bedroom. I'm assuming where I am now is the lounge. It does have relatively modern uh, air conditioning or the split system of hot and cold. This would be the kitchen. And hey, look. Um, it's not great, but it's not that bad. It's, it, it, it would clean up. Um, once again, a lot more modern power points there. Gas cooker. I saw the gas bottles out there. I'm assuming that's to the back backyard. And I don't know if you can see through the window. There's your tower right there. So it is a bit of a bonus to find somewhat abandoned, but I don't think it's abandoned. So I'm hoping that people who come out this way don't have um, any criminal intentions to do anything silly. Okay, probably can't see that. That's the toilet. And can we go out this way? Yeah. Okay, we'll go out this way if we can. And this is your back area. Let me just close the door behind me. So you've got the laundry here. Huh. That would have been an okay home in its day. Not fancy, but okay. Okay, so there you go. There's your bonus abandoned um, house that I don't believe is abandoned. Um, as you can see there, there's gates to come through. Uh, someone's obviously celebrated a birthday party at some stage. It's a pity they're not renting it out. Um, unless it's... Someone's left a drill here. That's not good. Um, yeah, I'm just sort of thinking aloud as I'm walking around and whether or not you could rent that out or is it just unsafe for people to live in it. You've got your power lot, uh, uh, hills hoist there. But anyway, it's just something that I noted. There's also a trailer there with some old tyres. Definitely someone used to live here. So there you go, there's your bonus.